how to lose weight, how to get abs, that's what everyone wants to know, right? It's a good thing it's pretty simple. What's up everybody, you guys read the title. Today we're talking about how to get abs. I decided to bring the camera out here outside because it's pretty nice this morning. I hope the ambiance isn't too loud behind me. But we're just gonna jump right into it. The question at hand is, how do you lose weight? How do you get that six pack abs? The general thought that I'm going to debunk right now is that you just train your abs a lot. You do a bunch of crunches, you do specific ab workouts to get abs. The truth is that you're in one of two situations. You're either person A who does not have abs and wants to get abs, or your person B who has abs but wants to get thicker, blockier abs. We'll start with person B. Actually, no, we're gonna start with person A. If you do not have abs, if you don't have visible abs, that's because you have a layer of belly fat covering your abs. So the way that this person gets abs is you need to get rid of the belly fat. How do you do that? You have to be in a caloric deficit, which basically means you are consuming less calories than you burn. You may have heard the phrase abs are made in the kitchen and that is 100% correct. If you do not have abs, if you have a layer of belly fat covering your abs, you need to go into a caloric deficit by eating less, eating healthier foods. Additionally, you could do cardiovascular exercise and you should do exercise to burn calories to create that caloric deficit. But ultimately, that is what has to be done. If you don't have abs, the only way you're going to get abs is if you eat right. And there's nothing else to it. Like you can train your abs all day long, but if you are eating more calories than you're burning, you're not gonna get rid of that belly fat and your abs are not gonna show. If you need to know what the calorie amount that will create a calorie deficit for you is, I'll put a link in the description of this video where you can calculate what your maintenance calories are. And then once you have this level of maintenance calories, you just wanna eat slightly less than that to create that deficit and lose weight and lose that belly fat. Again, in addition to exercise. Now, once you have the abs, your person B, who has the abs, who has the visible abs, but wants to get thicker, blockier abs. That is when you do specific ab training. Now, people want to know, what is the best ab workout? Like, what is the best ab exercises that you can do? Here's my approach to ab training, okay? We're gonna break the, the ab muscles, the core muscles down into the upper portion of your abs, the lower portion of your abs, and the obliques, which are on the sides of your abs. To train the upper portion of your abs up here, you want to bend your torso towards your belly button. Any exercise where you are moving your torso and bending towards your belly button, that's going to target your upper abs. To target your lower abs, any exercise when you are bending the lower part of your torso, when you're bending, moving your hips towards your belly button, moving your legs and your hips up towards your belly button, that's gonna target more of the lower abs. To work the sides, the obliques, any exercise when you are twisting your torso, twisting your core, that's gonna target the obliques, the sides of your abs. Any ab training workout that includes an exercise where you are bending your torso, bending your hips, and twisting, when you include all three of those movements, you will hit all parts of your abs. Pretty basic, I said this was gonna be simple. But I know you people out there who clicked on this video are looking for specifics. You want an actual workout that you can use, that you can follow step by step. So here's a basic three exercise ab workout that you can do. All right, I'm gonna try to get this done before it starts to rain. Like I said, this is gonna be as basic as possible. You can do these three exercises anywhere you have earth beneath you, so anywhere. So starting with the upper abs, we're just gonna do like a basic crunch. So any movement where you are, you know, just a normal crunch, lie flat on your back, and just raise your torso up. At the top, breathe out, and squeeze your abs. Now where you put your hands, I'd say the easiest is to put them right here. Second hardest is to like, put them like this behind your head, and then 
the third hardest is just to put them on the sides of your heads, sides of sides of your head, just like barely touching, like that. Any other kind of movement, like if you're in the gym, you can do like a cable crunch where you're holding cables and you bend down. Basically, any movement where you are moving your torso towards your belly button, like I said. But a basic crunch will do. Lower abs now. What we're going to do is a reverse crunch. So I'd put your hands down here with like just your thumbs under your butt. You're gonna bring your legs together, touching your knees and touching your feet together. And you're gonna lift your legs just off the ground like this. And we're gonna try to keep our feet off the ground this whole movement. Lie flat on your back. What you're gonna do is you're gonna bring your knees up like that. What you, you wanna make sure that your butt gets off the ground so that your hips are coming towards your belly button. Not just your knees and your legs, but your entire lower part of your body, including your hips, is going to flex towards your belly button. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not in very good cardiovascular shape right now. It's hard for me to do these exercises at the same time as I'm talking. Don't make fun of me in the comments section. I'll show you a couple more, just to like, get the gist of what I'm doing here. Make sure squeezing your abs at the top. Ah! Man, just love hitting abs. You could also do something like a hanging leg raise if you have like a pull-up bar where you're doing basically the same thing, making sure that you're bringing your legs and your knees up towards your belly button and curving your hips up towards your belly button as well. It's starting to drizzle on me. So we're gonna do the last one here. This is gonna work the obliques. We're gonna have just our butt touching the ground, legs bent, and feet up in the air, slightly leaning back. You can do this in one of two ways. You can one, keep your hands separated, like kind of touching as if you're holding something. That will make this exercise harder if you're holding weight in your hands. Twist down the side and touch your hands to the sides of your hips. And just go back and forth, twisting at your core and keep your legs fairly stable. You don't want to move the lower half of your body as much, just twisting from side to side. Of course, if that's too hard for you, you can keep your legs planted on the ground, but still you're gonna be leaning somewhat back and doing the same thing. Another form of this exercise you can do is you can have your hands clasped together like this and just lean down and touch your elbows to the ground, moving back and forth. I find that that prevents me from moving the lower half of my body as much, so if that's your issue that your legs are moving around a lot, you can do that version. Other similar exercises would be something like a plate twist. If you're holding like a weight in your hands and like standing, just moving back and forth like that. You can do crunches with the twist. So if you crunch up and twist at the top like that, that'll also engage your obliques. But like I'm saying, this stuff doesn't have to be complicated. That's a very, very basic ab workout that you can do. Like three sets of each exercise, 10 to 15 reps for each set. There we go, sending it back to you, sweatshirt Zach. That's all I got. I hope that this video was helpful and I hope that you could hear me over the loud birds behind me this whole video. As always, of course, if there's anything that you want me to explain further, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below or hit me up on any of my social medias. Yo, chill out, B. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, comment down below, share this video with your friends, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah!